Tutorial number 39 Inserting reference planes I have this part from the previous tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to insert a reference plane that exactly like those planes we have those three original planes and we can insert more planes on different places and direction according to what you want to draw so for example if we want to insert a plane parallel to xy we can go to we have to change the workbench can go to shape generative shape design and here you see this icon exactly the same like this icon here which means planes if you click on it here you can choose the plane type you want opposite from plane it is the simplest one and the reference we can choose the x y plane so now we created a second plane is which is parallel to the x y plane and here we can drag it or move it up or down or make a distance here and here you can reverse direction and press ok and if you press repeat it's going to repeat this plane so now we have a new plane if you click on it and click sketch so now you are able to make a sketch on it so let's make a hexa diagonal and now you can again make another plane and let's choose the type of plane to be through three points let's choose three points so let's choose point here and let's choose second point to be here and let's make the third point to be in this corner okay so now we have a new plane with crossing the chosen three points here also you can make a sketch on that plane or make a reference plane or offset plane from that plane you can reverse direction okay so now we know how to insert reference plans and you have many different types of references how you can make your new inserted plan so now we have these plans to be used in the next tutorial for showing you the loft command so let's change the workbench to be the part design our original workbench or beginner workbench